Hello everybody and welcome back to Marble Madness where we're here today with the round of 32 and the Sweet 16. After a thrilling opening event, we bring you an all new track here and it's called the Chicane Shoot with this defining feature being the Chicane in the middle, then you got the Hot Wheels track and the opening track on the either side. And here we go, we're going to be kicking things off with the 16 seed, the only one who made it out of round one, Slimeball versus Fireball. And Fireball holds the lead through the remainder of the Hot Wheels section, through the chicane, keeps it, but here comes Slimeball, closing the gap down now, tries to make the move, breezes to the outside and gets it done. Nice move from Slimeball, and a comfortable victory right there. Fireball just did not even play defense there, you gotta close down the gap. He has left him a wide open lane down the inside. Now Grayscale versus Cookie Dough here, our second match, and Cookie Dough, the 12 seed, is only increasing the gap throughout this year. Grayscale will need a miracle at this point to come back. He just doesn't have the pace. Cookie Dough finishes strong. We'll move on to play the 16 seed for his spot in the Elite Eight. How crazy is that? We're gonna have a very low seed, one guaranteed, making it in the Elite Eight. Now Nightfall versus Werewolf. Nightfall holding the lead. Werewolf really kind of far off the pace here, but a nice section in the chicane. Comes out with some pace now. Can you go try and make a move? Closing the gap down. Goes round the outside. Oh my goodness, at the line, he got it done. One of the closest finishes you will ever see in Marvel Sports. Frame by frame, Werewolf at the line. Oh my goodness, that's like a quarter of a marble length. Gets it done and moves on to the Sweet 16. His work isn't even done today. He's going to have one more race later on. Now these two, Party and Fiesta here, one in English, one in Spanish, and the English version of the name is going to come out on top, the two seed. Moving on here, a little calm down there, we'll lower the intensity just a second, but our first group of the bracket is done. Now moving on to the second group, opening up with Wasps and Mudslide, and Mudslide gets the good release here and has more pace off the line as well. Wasps now closing it down. Towards the chicane, need a good exit, and he's right on his back here. Here's a chance to make the move if he can do it. And oh, bad move right there. He took a bad line, gets bounced to the high side too early, loses all the momentum, and Mudslide was pressured, but comes up with the win. Now Titanic versus Hurricane. Titanic tries to find the lane early on, but Hurricane defends him. Marble, Summer Championship, original champion. Versus the one in Marvel Time Attack. Oh, look at the pace difference as they enter the open track. Titanic out of this world with that one. Just breezes right by. So, so easy for him. What a move. And now we move on to Ocean Breeze and Patriot, where, once again, the lower seed, which has had the advantage in a lot of these races today, even though they haven't really always been starting better, has the advantage of stretching it. Ocean Breeze doesn't look like he's going to put up a fight, and Patriot moves on. So Titanic. Followed by Patriot, two of our Marble Time Attack Marvels, moving on to the Sweet 16. Now Ghost and Flame, and once again, it's the lower seed getting the advantage, trying to stretch it, but the Ghost try to make the move, get denied, and now Flame with a really nice exit out of the chicane. That might just cost the Ghost. The defending champion is down in round two, and he goes down to Flame, who had a crazy run, I think it was last year, in an Elite Eight, and he's trying to get back there. He has one more to match his old best. Now below halftime, you can see just how technical these chicanes are. So many points where you can really bump against the wall and lose all your momentum. Now keep a very fluid motion. And the ones who have made those big runs outside of the chicane are doing that masterfully. Now, Electric Wheel and Parrot. It's Electric Wheel with the lead. Parrot, oh, goes for the move way too early. Pinches him out to a huge lead. And Electric Wheel is going to bring this one the biggest margin of victory of the day. And there's just Parrot getting too desperate too early. Honestly, the strategy report we said is to delay your move until you get to the open track. He clearly did not read that and got desperate too early. Now, Fl uh, Flair and Evergreen. Evergreen stretching it here. Flair gonna try and make the move, but he doesn't take a good line. Gets into the back of Evergreen. Had the pace, but did not have uh, the racing line there. It's Evergreen. It's a little lucky. Now, Slenderman versus Connell. And Slenderman is trailing, but he's right on the back of him. Now he loses a lot of pace. I think he accidentally bumped into him. He just doesn't have the pace out of the chicane either. Carmel is the faster marble on track, and he's going to finish with the win because of it. Once again, we're seeing these marbles, these veterans of this competition, making them move too early. And it's costing them. Skyline tries an early move right off the bat. And Royalty now stumbles, gives him the chance, but once again, maybe it was a little bit of a tactical stumble. Because Skyline bumped into him. Oh, he did have a run, but it gets blocked. Royalty holds on. 
And Skyline had a chance. And he makes his move early in the chicane right there once again. And yeah, a lot of marbles falling into that trap. Now, into the fourth part of the bracket here. Final bit of the round of 32. And it's Banana Split versus Candy Pop. Banana Split with the lead and stretching the lead here as well. Candy Pop really off the pace, but a great exit out of the chicane. One of the cleanest lines we've seen all day. Gives him a chance. He's drafting, but he just doesn't have the raw pace to get it done. Banana Split, as long as he's in front, he's not going to be losing any of these races. He's one of the quickest marbles. He's the one seed for the reason. And just look at that. A really nice line right there. Now, Goldfish and Supernova. Next up, and Goldfish with the lead, the 13s. have had a really nice tournament so far. And Supernova trying to join his Marble Time Attack friends in the Sweet 16. Tried to make the move, gets, but gets blocked. And Goldfish takes the lead, takes the win, and takes his ticket into the Sweet 16 as well. A lot of lower seeds are making up this exclusive club. Now, a 3 versus a 6, when we've seen a lot of 6 versus 11 or 3 versus 11s. Here we go, it's Octopus with the lead, stretching it as well. Bumblebee does not have an answer. It's been a bad day to be a three seed in this tournament. All of them have gone down in this round so far. And then it'll continue right there. Next up, Demon's Eye and Tide Pod last. In the round of 32, Tide Pod tried to make the move early, tried to make it again, and Demon's Eye with some immaculate defense right there to hold him off. But Tide Pod, he's not done yet. He's a very fast marble. He's going to have a chance. Unless Demon's Eye takes a nice line, he's bumping back and forth. Whoa, that got close at the end there. But Demon's Eye holds on. Very shaky, though, on the open section. I would not really trust him in the next round, but we'll see. So, round of 32 over. On to the Sweet 16. And then, just a few races left in the day. We open up with Cookie Dough and Slime Ball. And Slime Ball is trailing here, the 16. He's had some miraculous upsets already. Trying to come up with another one against the lowest seed he's faced so far. Here comes the run. Is he in time? Not quite. He finally found the pace, but it was just a little bit too late, and by that point, the finish line had already arrived. Cookie Dough, the first into the Elite Eight. Now this to determine who he will be going against. Hardy or the Miracle Worker Werewolf. Let's see it. Werewolf trying to make the move. Keeping that gap slow, he's going to try and get inside, but a nice block from Party, And that will end Werewolf's tournament here, nearly with yet another miracle run, but Werewolf goes down. Kugido and Party will be the first of our Elite Eight matchups. Now, Mudslide versus Titanic, and Mudslide gets the good release here. Titanic going to have to close this gap down, and it's doing a good job of it. He got it very close, right on the back, but he just barely contacts him. Mudslide with some daylight. Titanic late run. Not in time once again. And we're seeing that a lot of these marbles that are trailing are actually the faster marbles when they get to the open section, but they're so far back as a result of an earlier mistake that they just don't have the pace. And now Patriot versus Flame. Winner to join the winner of the previous match, and here we go. Patriot with the lead. Here comes Flame. Trying to close it down. Oh, we had the pace yet again, but another nice block from Patriot here. We had a lot of last second passes in the round of 32, but in the Sweet 16 here, it seems that these marbles know how to play the defense and they've learned from the mistakes of their other competitors. Evergreen versus Electric Eel, and the 13 seed gets the good release. He also looks like he's a little bit faster here when Electric Eel has had some of the biggest margins of victory in the tournament. Well, oh, Evergreen stretching it further and further. This one is going to be another upset, and another upset by a large margin. Evergreen forever green in the month of March so far. Holding on and moving on to the Elite Eight. Now, who's going to go up against them? The winner of this match will Royalty versus Carmel. And Royalty seems like he's got this one under control. One of our last two seeds remaining gets the job done. And Royalty knocks down Carmel, goes on to face Evergreen here, who is currently the lowest seed still remaining in the competition and he's in the Elite Eight. So, a nice Cinderella run from him. You could have two 13 seeds in the Elite Eight if Goldfish can turn this one into anything. But he's really falling off the pace early on. And then a split with the lead, stretching it. This one looks like it's going to be comfortable. At least one of our one seeds will finally make it on to the Elite Eight. And it's going to be Banana Split here. In his rookie season last year, I think he was also in the Elite Eight. So, consistency. <laughs> That's a very rare thing to get in Marble Madness. But He's doing it well. Now, Octopus versus Demon's Eye. Demon's Eye tries to move on the open, or on the outwheel section. 
and because of that, doesn't have the pace on the open section. He's really struggling on those lines, bouncing back and forth, and it goes to Octopus. That will do it for Marble Madness, round of 32 and the Sweet 16. Join us back next weekend when we'll be here with the Elite Eight, Final Four, and the Championship. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out, and we'll see you next weekend. Take care.